Hello everyone, my name is Nick, and you may better know me as the artist behind Chain Assembly. This is going to serve as an episode zero of my podcast, so I just wanted to discuss a bit the uh, places and things that brought me to this moment, the reasons why I decided to create this podcast, and kind of my history as a small business owner. So the title of the podcast, Art for Profit's Sake, stemmed from a conversation I had with another local artist a few years ago. She had asked me, why do I make art? It's a silly question that artists often ask each other. And I had a pretty cynical response. It was, I do it because I like making the profit. I like making money. And she then responded with, if that was really the case, why wouldn't you do something a little easier? Like, I don't know, uh, accounting or um, why didn't I major in business? And that made me realize that what I really love is the physical manifestation of people's desire to purchase my art. And that's the transactional experience that I go for. So that is kind of the theme of the podcast, finding out where different artists find the profit within their art business. Now, art businesses can range in tons of different sizes, from a small part-time side gig you're just exploring, to being your full-time career and you being an incredibly successful artist who is known world over. So that's kind of what I wanted to discuss here, seeing how different people have run their businesses, where they have found successes, and where they have found failures. I first started my chain assembly business back in 2016 when I just started doing a few custom illustrations for local disc golf tournaments. In fact, the name Chain Assembly refers to the top part of a disc golf basket. From that, I decided making own products and funding those through Kickstarter, selling them online. And that's pretty much what my business has turned into. Uh, I like to kind of think of it as a group of artists all working together to create different products, kind of like Mondo Publishing. But really, it's just me. And I like creating art under the name Chain Assembly because that kind of shows my intent to grow into a larger organization. That being said, throughout the process of this podcast, I'm going to be speaking to different people I've met online or I know locally as a expansion of conversations that I already have had regularly over the last few years. I'm a member of a few different artists organizations, and I often find myself reaching out to other artists online who do similar things to me just to have Zoom meetings, just to have conversations in person over coffee or beer to see how they're doing, what they are doing, how they have found success. And it was just one of these recent conversations that I realized it would make sense for me to actually record this and use that as an opportunity to share some of this information with other people online who are maybe curious about how they can make money with their art. I hope you join me on the ride of this podcast. I know I'm pretty excited about some of the things that we've discussed so far, and throughout the process of it, I'll probably be giving out some little bits of information about things that have worked for me and have not worked for me. So my plan is to record an interview, and then after that ends, record an intro just as myself, discussing what I learned from that discussion with the artist, as well as some little tips I've picked up along the way. And also in a sense of preventing any gatekeeping, I'm learning this podcasting world as I go through this, give you a background on what I am planning. I have been recording these episodes through Riverside FM, which is at the starting plan. It's about $15 a month, but it looks like I'm pretty quickly going to have to upgrade to the version that is $24 a month. After I do the recording, I do a little bit of editing in Adobe Audition, which I'm also learning how to use one, one recording at a time. Uh, I just recently bought myself a Blue Yeti X microphone, which is what you're listening to me on. The uh, first couple episodes I recorded with different microphones that were not nearly as good. So bear with that audio. And I'm going to be distributing these through Spotify for podcasters, which has a lot of tools that help you engage with the audience. At the point of recording this, I have not published anything yet. So again, I will be learning that as we go along. 
And I imagine I'll probably be updating this episode zero two as time finds it necessary. The musical interludes, uh, intro music, closing music, all of that stuff is provided by Old Romans. That is my friend David from Miami. Uh, He's recorded all of the music that I've used for all my Kickstarter projects and background music for some of the role playing games I've designed. He's a fantastic music producer, and I'm excited to have him on board with this project, too. If you want to follow my work, I am at Chain Assembly everywhere. Chain Assembly on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. My website is www.chainassembly.com. And thank you very much for taking the time to listen to this episode zero, as well as any other following episodes I produce. 